All right, this this one I'm gonna video like showing the book so you can see it for yourself and read it in your own time. This is from the Super Gospel by Robert Farrell, who has the most read uh, video of Enoch on YouTube. Uh, Robert Farrell wrote this book or compiled it, a hundred different texts to show a more fuller view of Jesus's life. And this you can see right there. It's from the book of Pseudo Matthew, chapter thirty-five. There is this road which passes from Jericho over to the plain in the Jordan River where the children of Israel had crossed over. And it is said that the Ark of the Covenant once rested there. Now Jesus, who by then was eight years old, left Jericho and headed out for the Jordan. This path was not safe for men to walk because over by the side of the road, not far from the river bank, there was this cave where a lioness lay nursing her cubs. Jesus came from Jericho and went right in before them all. Now as soon as the lions caught sight of Jesus, they all ran up and adored him. And the whole time that Jesus sat within the cave, the little cubs rubbed against him and played with him. Even as the older lions kept their distance and lowered their heads, worshipping him and patting their tails affectionately upon him. Now those that were standing off in a distance, unable to see Jesus, said, he would never have offered himself to the lions unless he or his parents had committed some serious offense. And as these people were speaking to one another, overwhelmed by their grief, behold, Jesus suddenly came out of the cave in plain sight of them all, the pride of lions going before him and the cubs playing with each other all around their feet. And Jesus' mother and father stood, heads bowed in the distance as they looked on. The others also kept their distance on account of the lions, not daring to approach them. Then he said to the people there, how far superior are the untamed animals to the likes of you, seeing how they both recognize and venerate their Lord, whereas you men, even though you have been made in the image and likeness of God, have no idea who he is. Wild animals sense me and become docile, whereas men look right at me and do not even acknowledge me. After this, the waters of the Jordan spread to the right and to the left, and Jesus went across before them all, attending to the lions. Then, loud enough for all to hear, Jesus called out to the lions, Now go in peace along your way, injuring no one, and may no man do you any harm until you return to the place from which you came. And they bid him farewell through their cries and their gestures, and then they moved on to their proper domain.